Hello no, no, folks, just uh, making this short video to show you the app, amateur radio app, ISS detector. Uh, if a few of you may be using this, I don't know, but it's recently received uh, um, an update, the app update. And now the app is totally transformed from what it was like before the update compared to what it's like now. The user interface is a lot a lot better and the graphics are a lot better as well. I currently use this app for tracking the um, space station, uh, a few weather satellites and also the SO50 satellite. Let me just uh, click on the SO50 there. I'll try that again. <laughs> there we go. comes up with the this is the radar screen of the SO50 and its position in relation to where I am my home QTH is obviously smack bang in the center of the crosshairs there and that's SO50's position in relation to my QTH you can scroll and get more information on the satellite it's just a finger swipe across the screen it sure gives you the start time that time up there in the corner by the way this one that indicates how long it is before this day SO50 is due to pass my, my present location uh, underneath there gives you all the, the information you need the start time of the pass uh, followed by the duration which is how long the pass will last and the, the end time the elevation um, start direction which is over here and the end direction it gives you a trackable map which I think is quite good as well I quite like this because it's a big improvement on what we had before the update you can now tap on the map excuse me can I tap, and get a full screen version of it the map you can scroll it there you go but it goes back to its previous position but there is uh, controls where you can alter that which if you press the lock here at the bottom of the screen let me just press that there we go now you can scroll the screen to wherever you want it and it will stay there without going back and that's where I am. I am in the UK. I'm actually in Bletchley in Buckinghamshire in the UK, which is uh, home of the Enigma code breakers. I live just 10 minutes down the road from the uh, Enigma mu uh, Museum over at Bletchley Park. Here we go. You get. You can choose um, another view of, of uh, the map if you wish, which will give you the city names and so on, which is this button here. Let me press that. There we go. You get the, the different map and gives you the country names and uh, city names. The map is zoomable. You can zoom in and zoom out, which is uh, handy. Here we go. Just go back. And uh, yeah, it's uh, they've uh, dramatically improved it with that new update. I quite like this. In fact, I like this app so much now. I've deleted um, Hamsat Droid and Amsat Droid which I was using for tracking and now use only this one there you go folks hope you enjoyed the video and um, apologies for the shaky camera I'm actually using my mobile phone and it's a very small phone and the screen is even tiny as well which is why I'm having to hold it really close to the screen of my tablet here <coughs> excuse me anyway hope you enjoyed comment if you wish and I shall reply as and when I can this is Adrian, Mike 3, Oscar November Lima in Bletchley, UK. Have fun, guys. Seven threes.